Alrighty. It's been a while. Ah, uh, freaking itchy. Uh, okay. Uh, I got exercise to draw, you know what I'm saying? Dude, why do I keep forgetting? Damn it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> what? Alright, guys. It's been a while, but it's September. And you guys know what that means. It's gonna be fall season. And your boy went thrifting. Here are my thrift pickups for fall and maybe winter 2020. Let's get started. Okay. What's up guys? Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mark K. Yab Yab. I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything in regards to men's fashion. I'm talking about streetwear, sneaker culture, thrifting, high-end fashion, and just everything related to making you look good and feel good. So if you're into any of that, make sure you guys please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get on with the pickups. All right, guys, so it's been a while. I'm so, so, so sorry. I've just been so caught up with everything, uh, you know, life stuff and personal stuff and um you know just trying to find the time to to do these videos you know and it's just like i i it's so hard to focus on a task when you have many things going on but everything's all good uh, i'm here and um let's just freaking get straight into the video here's a little quick story me and my girl we would always thrift right i'm not saying every week i think literally ever since my last um pickups video uh, we went thrifting like three to five times maybe and guys I literally did not find anything I would be so excited I'd be looking for like an hour an hour and a half and me and my girl we always split up and then next thing you know we meet up she has like a pile of clothes and I'm just left with nothing and then she's like what the heck you're not getting anything and I'm like no I couldn't really find anything and for me, when it comes to every season, I, I always look at different designers or see what other men's fashion influencers um, are wearing or planning to wear. And that's that's kind of like my basis or my, my base when it comes to choosing what clothes I want to wear uh, for every season. And I literally couldn't find anything until last weekend. I actually came up with a... $200 thrifting haul. The problem was that three of those items that I got within that $200 like thrift haul, um, it actually didn't fit me and I was just like, no, damn it. But the main ones that I really, really loved, I ended up picking up. So instead of a $200 thrift haul, it was 150. So I guess let's just get right into it. First item, one, is this. So I've actually been meaning to pick up a cargo pant um, styled trouser, I guess you could say, or a cargo pant. Uh, I don't know why I said cargo pant styled trouser. It makes no sense. A cargo pant. And I actually saw this. So the store that me and my girl went to is a place called Crossroads. Um, rather than going to Goodwill and finding those like hidden gems, I guess you could say, or those like rare pieces, Crossroads actually curates a good selection of clothes that are up to date with how fashion is. And that's why I love going there. It is a little bit pricey, not to the point where you're buying a vintage shirt for like 200, 300 bucks. First one is actually these cargo pants from a brand called The Rail. If you guys don't know what The Rail is, it's actually, unfortunately, fast fashion there's nothing wrong with fast fashion yeah the rail is actually a nordstrom brand but yes um this is actually a size 34 navy blue and i actually got it for 15 bucks this pants is actually just as much as h&m pants so got these navy blue it is the fitting is really i don't really say weird but it's more like slim fit as opposed to like my usual cropped uh, cropped fit trousers, I guess you could say, but I wanted to try something different. And when it comes to trends, I try not to spend 
too much money on trends just because like it doesn't make sense for you to spend like a hundred dollars and up for a trend that's most likely going to die i'd rather spend like hundreds of dollars for a nice like denim jacket you know because that could last for years but yeah got this um navy blue cargo pant i really love it and the reason why i've been wanting cargo pants is just because of how people style it i know when it comes to streetwear a lot of people are wearing much more tactical um clothing so like you know you, those those tactical vests um tactical you know bags and tactical pants like cargo pants but yeah guys i i got a nice navy blue cargo pant i actually wanted to wear these cargo pants with high top shoes so you'll see me wearing these with like jordans or maybe even like chunky shoes like my air force ones and I'm actually looking to get some combat boots too. So if you guys have any recommendations for a guy like me, shorty, short kings, whatever you want to call it, um, leave in the comment below because your boy's interested. But yeah, uh, fitting's pretty cool. Uh, nothing really much for me to say because I've never owned cargo pants. Uh, material honestly feels like, hmm, kind of feels like H&M pants to be honest so i don't expect much wear from these but if i could pull this off then maybe i'll invest in uh much more expensive pieces on to the next item all right guys so the next item i have here is actually a long sleeve uh, by a company called loser machine company as you may know i am a sucker when it comes to like anything car related i love vintage cars if you want to ask me about any vintage car i'd most likely know about it um but yeah, guys, I love vintage cars. I love old stuff. And when, right when I saw fast fare services rates, it honestly reminded me of like, you know, like mechanics, you know, working on cars and you get to see like, you know, that, that auto body shop logo or the shop logo on your like chest pocket. But yeah, guys, um, this isn't necessarily vintage, but I really love the design of it. So, um, yeah, nothing really much for me to say. It is a size medium. With fall coming near, um, I actually wanted to invest more on like shirts and long sleeves and I was so happy to find um, something like this, especially since I really like the design because uh, I've been kind of struggling when it comes to finding nice shirts and whether that's vintage shirts or just regular shirts. I love, you know, the Harley Davidson shirts, but it tends to get played out a lot. And I, I love my unique low basic shirts but it just doesn't really add any like flavor i guess you'd say to my outfit so finding something like this where i could just wear it you know being able to wear like a long sleeve like this with a pocket tee and just simple designs is just something i'm really really into um it's perfect for fall since it isn't necessarily cold but it's not necessarily hot so i could always wear this you know just by itself or maybe even under a jacket if it does get a little bit chilly. This shirt actually came out to be $18.50. Your regular, you know, basic shirt. Do I expect this to last long? Not necessarily, no. On to the next item. So one of my fall items that I've actually been looking at are crewnecks. And I know that's super, super simple, but I actually wanted to look for a specific crewneck. My goal for when it comes to like fashion is, you know, get the essentials, basic essentials whether it's just simple crew necks and then try to look for a much more louder piece and I actually got this and what caught my eye was um, it is from the brand called Loser Machine again but they I believe did a collaboration with Moon Eyes and if you guys don't know what Moon Eyes is it's a Japanese I think it's either Japanese or American um, company that focuses on car customization or the way how cars look and it's it's very old school and vintage. -y. I have a shop down in SoCal, but yeah, guys, I, I love Moon Eyes. I, I, right when I saw that, I was like, instant cop. I hope it's my size. It ended up being my size. And the price point for this is actually $25. So simple crew neck. I mean, like I said, I don't expect it to last long, but just as long as if it has like a dope design, um, you know, I'm all for it. So, you know, you got your simple logo on the left chest area and then in the back uh, it's generally the same thing just a much more bigger decal i guess you could say uh just says moon equipment co um, loser machine speed and skate so pretty sick i mean i'm not gonna lie really 
I've actually been looking for a nice white uh, crew neck and um, yeah this is pretty dope and I'm excited to wear this for fall so fall's gonna be lit guys on to the next item all right guys and the next item that I have here is a Uniqlo crew neck sweater and a much more forest green I guess you could say colored sweater um, $15 it's a size small there's nothing really much for me to say about it it's just a dope ass color it's gonna be fall and your boy ain't trying to freaking show his freaking diamond cutters under his shirt so get a crew neck it's dope size small um, unique low always a staple on to the next item all right guys so this item I was super super stoked when I saw it I freaking ran to the jacket section I was like dude I need to freaking get this and I was like, I hope this is the right size. I hope, you know, someone didn't put it into the wrong size section. What do you know? I got it in my size. Well, kind of. Anyways, um, yeah, I got a varsity jacket, guys. I've, I've been meaning to get a nice varsity jacket. It isn't necessarily vintage, but a nice simple varsity jacket just to wear around and it's actually from a brand called american apparel i'm pretty sure you guys know what american apparel is um nothing really much for me to say about american apparel i mean they're kind of like h and m i feel like they're in between h and m and zara and american apparel is much more minimalistic but i've had nothing but good um good experiences wearing american apparel clothes like i've had a shirt literally since high school i wore it for like two three years it maintained its quality so i was super surprised with um how durable i guess you say american apparel was because i wore that shirt literally hella times i was kind of stoked that i actually saw an american apparel varsity jacket because you know their their fit is actually pretty on point but uh yeah Nothing much for me to say. This varsity jacket, $28.50, guys. $28.50. Black and white, simple. It, you know, YSL vibes for sure. I wish it kind of fit a little bit much more cropped and more snug. It is kind of like big on me. But I mean, for the meantime, honestly, guys, like, you can never go wrong getting like a simple clean varsity jacket especially one from american apparel guys right when i went to crossroads i went to the men's section i was grabbing cl clothes left and right it was ridiculous and i'm not saying like i was desperate looking for clothes like i found clothes that i really really liked so yeah varsity jacket american apparel your boy gotta win on to the next item and my last item that i got is actually a fleece worker jacket i think I think this is a fleece worker jacket but anyways same company loser machine company uh yeah i honestly don't know much about that company like literally half of my clothes that i got from the thrift store was from them um i'll look more into them to be honest with you guys but yeah i got this sick ass fleece jacket you know it just it just yells out americana boy loves simple clothes especially love the americana outfits uh, people who wear Americana is kind of like, you know, Ray. Um, I can't think of anyone else. Uh, as you may know, Kenny Jima kind of wears Americana clothes, you know, worker jackets, dicky jackets, all that other stuff. But yeah, I mean, a fleece jacket's perfect for fall. Perfect just to keep you warm. I really love the, the green and yellow slash gold accents. It, I feel like it really adds that little touch, that chef's kiss. Uh, to this jacket um, yeah, Nothing much for me to say it's a size medium and the price for this $28 guys, so I mean sick jacket. I freaking like it. I can't wait to wear this um, Especially since it's gonna be colder as you may know in California. We are getting these crazy wildfires, so um, You know, it's ridiculous, but I hope everything dies down. I hope everyone's safe but yeah guys um this is a uh, pretty freaking sick i honestly don't know what else to say it looks super super dope um has this little like you know fingers crossed you know like oh i'm i'm lying in a sense i don't know what you call that you, you know finger cross but yeah guys nothing else much for me to say dope ass jacket i can't wait to wear this for fall and guys Thank you, Thrift Gods, 
for freaking blessing me this weekend. Let's go. All right, guys, and that's basically it for the video. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. Let's get this conversation going. Let's form this community. And as always, make sure you guys please like, comment, subscribe, follow the gram, and uh, catch you guys in two weeks. Hopefully. Peace out.